Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial episode 45. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a virtual mosaic of Cloud Optimized GeoTiff into GMAP. Let's get started. So uh, you can go to gmap.org. Uh, um, we're going to use the noble example uh, from the repo. So once you on the web page, uh, click the uh, notebooks on the left side and scroll down to find number 45 so uh, in the previous episode i already show you how to load um, each cloud optimized geotiff individually so one by one but uh, if you have too many uh, files you probably want to have a mosaic so that you don't have to create so many uh, data layers so this is what this tutorial is about so click the uh, cork mosaic and once it's open, uh, you can take a look at the source code here. Uh, it's very uh, short, so there's only a few lines of code in here. You can uh, click the open in Colab. If you want to run this one in uh, Google Colab, um, you can, you're welcome to do that. So uh, um, you can also download this one to run on your local uh, computer if you have GMAP uh, installed. So for me, I'm going to go to the GitHub uh, repo right click and then from here examples uh, notebooks scroll down to see number 45 and then click the raw button right click save as and save to my downloads folder and then open your um, browser i uh, know your browser your uh, file explorer and also your um, anaconda prompt or your terminal so once you're here just uh, contact activate GE and then uh, Jupyter Notebook. Then uh, click. So from here, let's open the notebook and go through step by step. For this uh, video, uh, you need to import uh, install the GMAP. And I have not um, because this new function is added to the repo, so I have not released a new version yet. So I'm going to show you here. If you go to uh, the repo, if you click uh, the commits, uh, this was just added yesterday, so it has not been added to a new release yet. And if you're running this one um, right now, you might need to uh, update the package. So all you need to do uh, import the library. And then you can hit Control slash uh, on your keyboard to uncommon this one, and then you can run this one. So basically, this function will update the package from GitHub, so install the latest one. Um, so since I already uh, have that, so I don't need to run this one. And then we can create an interactive map. So you might not be familiar with this one. So uh, since this is like cloud optimized duty. We are not really using Google's engine, so actually we don't have to initialize Google's engine. So, uh, if you run this one in Google Colab, uh, you you basically you don't have to uh, or send the Google's engine. You can use this one. So in that way you can, but you still need to uh, install it on Google Colab. And so execute right. We have the map. Then we can talk about like uh, the GeoTiff. If you look at my previous uh, tutorial, um, we use the example, uh, the data from uh, Digital Globe. So if you scroll down, these are some of the files, like the GOT. We have a lot of files in here. If you click, and each one is like over 500 back, um, megabytes, so it's uh, pretty big. And I already downloaded the data. I uh, already retrieved all the URL. You can right click and open this one. So these are all the URL. So we have a uh, 76 uh, G Cloud optimized GeoTiff. The goal of this tutorial is to load all these cloud optimized GeoTiff as a virtual mosaic, right? Because the previous tutorial you act one by one, one by one. Um, so you're gonna create if you do that, you're gonna create 76 uh, layers. So that might be uh, overwhelming. So it'd be nice that we be able to create a mosaic just one layer. So first of all, uh, we need to get some URL. So like I said, we're going to use all the GeoTiff in this example, 76. So first of all, you need to define the URL. And this core block basically is trying to, um, it's the same like you download the, uh, the TXT to your computer and then you read uh, all the lines. But uh, we're going to use the URL lib uh, library to directly open uh, the, the file. 
uh, and then we can read the data so uh, you don't have to worry too much so we'll just execute this one and then once you have the ui we're just going to skip the first one so if you come back to here right the first one is not really a got it's just uh, the link to the website so we're going to skip the first one and this is why we ate <coughs> excuse me use the links uh, and then starting from the first one and you want to look at the content you can control uh slash um and then control enter so you can see all the uh, url so right now this is a list and then each item in the list is a url and this is very important because this is the one that we need in order to uh, add those uh, uh as a virtual mosaic so this is the function we're going to use it's called add uh, code mosaic uh, you can put your cursor inside the function and then uh, shift tap on your keyboard to bring up the uh, the, uh, the parameters so the first one is the links the second one is the name is the layer so this the name is the one that's going to show up in the uh, the layer control uh, group and also very uh, very important this one the footprint so the footprint is where you want to because we have 76 right uh, if you don't add this one it will just add the um, images but if you choose to show the footprint you will have a rectangle the bounding box for each image and also the verbals is whether you want to print some text or not because um, we are trying to create a mosaic sometimes it might take a long time so you want to have some maybe some info the users that you are, are creating the mosaic or something like that so maybe this just one this one so uh, this is what is mean by uh, uh, verbals it's basically uh, give you some hints about what is going on right now in this function because on the left here uh, it's a star make, make, uh, basically uh, this function is running but depends on how many files or you are using it might take a while so um, and so right now it's basically uh, creating the footprint of a 76 uh, cloud optimized GOT um, once it's done it's going to uh, have another uh, text message in here okay it's finished so the, the footprint layer has been added and you can also uh, show the map in here at control layer so you don't really need to have this one uh, it's already have that in here the last two lines this is just for if you use google collab uh, you want to show the layer control um, at the end so we can execute this one and as you can see right we have all the layers pretty nice if you zoom in right uh, you have all the the footprints uh, showing up and so the image they're going to load up uh, uh, slowly it might take some time but uh, it should be there right and you can turn the footprints uh, on and off right so those are all the images uh, that we use from the uh, the list and all at once so now we only have one layer so I agree footprint and also the uh, the images like right? so those are all the footprints are uh, created there are also some here in uh, Colorado so you can also zoom in you can uh, this on and off right? so those are the images that are freely available that you can visualize the before and after uh, the fire uh, the fire so very important and if you're trying to download this data altogether it might take you a long time because uh, each file like I saw in the previous um, tutorial is like over 500 megabytes so think about that um, but now using this like one line of uh, code we can create a virtual mosaic and also add that to the map uh, really easily so uh, if you have uh, other files that are hosted uh, in other cloud provider you can also only need just a list of links and then you can pass the links into the function that's it so you can customize the parameters so you can control uh, shift tab and to bring this one up so there are some other parameters that i didn't mention but you can have a t tyler endpoint so this is we use the default one uh, this is provided by uh development uh, seed um, you can create an endpoint for your uh your application you can also have a username and then uh, whether or not to show the footprint so uh, it's up to you and okay let's uh, take a look at one more time right uh, these are very high resolution uh yeah satellite imagery uh, very very nice so make sure that you check this one out uh very useful you can download the source data if you want but uh 
or in the future I might make another video how to do computation using this uh, cloud optimized GeoTIFF but uh, for now I'm just going to show you how you can create a mosaic and load the data into the map so that you can compare the data with other data layer both engine data layers or some other data layer on your computer uh, as long as you can find some cloud optimized GeoTIFF in the cloud you can load them into uh, GMAP uh, just using one line of code okay that's all for this uh, tutorial if you enjoyed this video please uh, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye